Hi cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw my Draw So Cute Mermaid Girl. So let's get started. To draw my cute mermaid girl, let's first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and draw basically bottom of a U. And come over to the side, so kind of nice and wide. So about right here. And I'm going to go ahead and connect it. It's going to be a little bit um, flatter towards the bottom. There. It's always so scary drawing with a Sharpie. <laughs> okay, so just a basic look curve like that and then from there let's come back to where we started on the edge and we're going to draw a circle. So I'm going to right here and start with a circle for the eyes. And same thing on the other side. So always remember cuties um, if you have a pencil if you can use a pencil at home that's always best before you go in there and um, ink it. So I'm using a Sharpie just to show you. It's a little bit easier for you to see. Okay, so then from there I have the eyes in. I mean, I have the circles in. So let's come in here and make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights. And a curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. and the lines at the bottom and same thing over here. So I want to thank you cuties for all your love for my Draw So Cute Unicorn Girl that I did a while back. So I thought it'd be fun to um, try a mermaid girl. So hopefully you guys love this one just as much. Okay, so then from there we're going to come to the side right here and draw some lashes. So just two curves, two simple curves and then longer one and a shorter one and same thing on this side. So the top one is a little bit longer and the bottom one's a little bit shorter. There. Then let's come in the center and give her a sweet little smile. So say about right here. Drawing a little curve and cap it off. Then now let's continue um, by drawing her hair. So I'm going to bring this up and let's see here. I'm going to come first before I do that. I'm sorry. I'm going to come above about right here and draw her brow. So it's just a little bit easier for me to figure out how high to put her hair. So I'm just going to come in here and draw a soft curve above her eye. And then on this side, I'm not going to draw yet because I know her hair comes to the side. But by drawing this, I know to come uh, to come up a little bit about right, about right there. I'll stop and then come down with a curve on this side for her hair. And I'm going to bring it all the way down here. I'm just going to sweep it over and out. So then on this side, you won't really see her brow, so I'm not going to need to draw that side. So then let's bring this up more. Okay, so then from there, I'm going to um, kind of where this line is, I'm going to start and come down for the side of her hair. And then I'm going to go up on this side right here and um, let's see here and then I know there's a band I'm giving her that's why I'm just kind of should I draw the band first or later but let's draw it first I'm going to come up right here and draw a curve above her head so let's do that let's go all the way across 
kind of like the other side all the way across. I know it kind of looks weird right now, but it all come together. So we've created this curve. Bring this down and then let's bring this in. Bring this in. So now that we have it pretty level, let's come up here and we're going to draw in that band for her hair. So about right here, I'm going to come out and draw this band. So same thing over here. And I'm going to go up with my curve and come around. And since I'm using a Sharpie, I'm going to just come in here. If you're using a pencil, just go ahead and finish the curve. But I'm going to draw a flower in this area. So I'm just going to draw five simple petals. And I'll go there and erase that little area, but then I can go in and finish my band. And then now one more layer. We're going to draw the top of her head. So right there and just come up. Do a little dip in if you like and come back down. There. So now that we're done with the top part, I'm going to go ahead and draw her body first before I finish the rest of her hair. So just um, make sure that um, I don't get in the way of her uh, body. So let's come right here in the center and we're going to give her a small little neck. So right in the center and I'm going to curve down. So same thing on this side, just curve down. And I'm stopping right here because she has this sleeve that poofs up over her shoulder. So I'm going to stop right there and then come down. So about right here, just imagining where her armpits would be. And from there, I'm going to draw two angle lines. Then from there, let's come and I'm going to connect this curve right here with a curve. And then now we can go ahead and draw her sleeves. So I'm just going to poof this out and wiggle, wiggle my way back. And same thing on this side. So same thing right here. Poof it out a little bit and wiggle back. And then I'm going to give her a collar. So say about right here. I'm just going to draw a curve towards the center and back up. And then um, before I forget, I'm going to come in here and give her a necklace. So I'm just going to draw a star at an angle, like a C star, and then surround it by uh, giving her a necklace of pearls, perhaps. So circles. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to pop it out a little bit. Okay, so then from there, let's bring this down a tiny bit more and we're starting to draw the rest of her um, dress. So about right there, I'll stop and I'm going to connect it by bringing in a curve towards the center. So about right there and then go back up on the other side. And then right here, I'm going to start to draw some ruffles. So I come out with a curve. And I'm going to wiggle my way towards the center and do the same thing on this side. And I'm going to give it one more layer and wiggle my way in and same thing here. Then now we can start to draw the bottom right here. So let's come out right here. And I'm going to bring in a curve on both sides. So it's coming down. And a little bit more. I hope you love this outfit I'm giving her. <laughs> There's just so many different ways to draw a mermaid dress, right? 
Okay, so um, about right there, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it with a curve that goes up this time and then comes down on this right here. And then now let's poof it out for the mermaid tail. So come out right here on both sides. And uh, let's bring this down more. So now that's pretty even. I'm going to come back in here and draw some details. I'm going to come about right here and I'm going to start to draw this curve that comes down, goes back up, and another layer, and same thing, goes back up, and one more, and connects. And then on this side, it's just going to go right back in. There. Okay, and then one more layer. <laughs> And so we're going to come about right here and pop it out. You got to have a gorgeous tail, right, for a mermaid? It's all about the tail. So then about right there, I'm just going to go ahead, nice and simple, just wiggle my way across. And ta-da! <laughs> we're done. And then you can come in here with if you like, I just want to show you with the Sharpie lightly. Just draw some lines in here. So we know that it's very full. And let's see here. You can come in here and I'm just going to give it some details. Very lightly. Give it a little edge. You can also just do this when you're coloring it so it's not so harsh and black. I wanted to show you the details you can add in here. So I'm trying to make it as light as possible. And one more. There. And then on this layer right here, let's come about right here. I'm going to draw a curve that comes this way. And same thing on the other side. And then another curve right here to add some details. And um, right here, let's add some mermaid skills. scales. <laughs> Um, you can, once again, you can do this when you're coloring it so it's not so harsh, but I wanted to show you. So you just draw a bunch of curves, go across. And then we're going to come on to the next layer and have it overlapped. And then we're just going to keep doing that until we fill up this space. So all the scales are overlapping. And whatever space you have left, just tuck in these curves. There. And then finally, let's draw her hands. So I'm having them uh, just to her side, nice and simple, nothing too complicated. And her shoulders are going to come right here. So let's bring her arms down to about right here. So in this area, we're going to bring out her fingers and then a thumb. 
And then if you like, you can add a little finger towards the back right there. And so same thing on this side. Right to her side. And I'm just going to drag this point across. So I know approximately how far to go on the other side. So let's say about right here. Them. And the finger. There. Okay, so we're all done with that. Now finally her hair. So um, on this, the for her hair right here, I'm going to draw the two main strands first. So let's come down here. Let's see in this area. And we're going to curve out one big curve and I'm going to connect this. So this is just something I came up with. <laughs> Hope it's not too complicated. And let's go ahead and draw one more curve right here. Just want to give her hair some movement. And then on right here, we're going to come out with a curve. So I'm just working on this side first. So a bit easier for me to see when I draw the other side. And just draw a bunch of zigzags towards the bottom right here to finish it off. Okay, so now on this side, it's basically the same thing. Except right here, the only difference is this strand right here. It's going to come about right here and out. And so let's go ahead and connect this. That's the main one. And then we have the one that pops out just like the other side. So I'm going to come about right here. So this part right here, right there, and come out just like the other side and zigzag back in. There. Okay, so then now for some details. So on this side, because I have some room, I'm going to tuck in a little curve right here for her ear. And um, then I'm going to come in here and just draw in a bunch of line so you can see for um, the strands in her hair. But once again, you can always just do this when you're coloring it so that the lines are not so dark. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect all this to create some movement in her hair. And same thing on this side. There. And then on this strand, right here, the top. part right here if you like you can since we have all these strands in there already might as well <laughs> for the top so there that's pretty much it for this drastic cute mermaid girl i hope i've made it easy for you to follow along and it's inspired you to give it a try Thanks so much for watching, and if you loved it, please make sure to uh, subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Drossiku videos. See you later.